Hey y'all, my name is Jorge Espinosa, I'm the principal of Carlsbad Seaside Academy and also Carlsbad Village Academy. I, I get to be two schools. But we're here today for representing Seaside Academy and I think today um, in just looking at these students, you know, first of all, congratulations. It's such a, you know, it's humbling to follow you and uh, it's truly um, emblematic of how we provide every student an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment. I said that one for you, boss. All right. All right. So, but the thing is, is like, yes, you guys are inspirational. All three of you are inspirational. And, you know, I want to introduce my inspirational student because I've also gotten to work with her over the last four years. In fact, to work with her and her two sisters. And, uh, you know, uh, Luisa was with us during the explosion of Seaside during, uh, during COVID and she hung in there, you know, drastic change. But one of those things um, that I could count on was her ability just to continue to move forward and be that kid that you could just count on to go with the flow, to do her best, to be inspiring. And uh, I, I do want to share this with you, Lisa, is, is that I always have a soft spot in my heart for kids that want to get into the oh, nursing. Yeah. Because uh, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for a nurse a long time ago, my grandmother. And uh, you know, she, she met my grandfather after he had a pretty horrific accident. He was dragged across polo fields on a polo pony. And uh, the two of them uh, fell in love because <laughs> of uh, you know her her being in nursing and her road to nursing was quite an extensive one and uh, you know she uh, was daughter of an immigrant and was uh, uh, brought into a program that gave her the opportunity that many people didn't have back in in the late 30s early 40s so I always have that soft spot in my heart for kids that want to be in nursing so I just want to say that uh, Luisa, you, uh, it's been great to watch you grow up as a student. It's been uh, hard sometimes to watch you as a soccer player because you go against my daughter. And, um, you know, there's a couple times we tied, a couple times, we, you know, you beat us pretty good. But, you know, it was always fun to watch you play out there, too. Um, it's, uh, it's always great to hear about the things that you do outside of school. And, uh, you know, you're, you're working with your church and, you know, doing your community service. And uh, it's also just fantastic to watch this ride all the way through to the year where you know you get accepted to the place where you want to go to school in the program that you want to pursue so it's always you know a great proud moment to be a principal and watch a kid ride that entire arc so it doesn't mean you get senioritis in the spring though yeah. <laughs> all right but i do with no further ado want to welcome one of an, an easy choice from seaside academy miss lisa Clive. and her family and Ms. Schmidt. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Espinosa. Um, my name is Louisa Cliff, and I'm here with my parents, Matt and Jenny Cliff, and my teacher, Mrs. Schmidt. Um, I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for having me here today and for the sponsors of this event. Um, throughout my high school experience, the biggest lesson I've learned that I will take to college is flexibility when things don't go according to plan. We've all experienced the COVID lockdown and how plans were canceled or changed, and yet we learned other ways to connect with people and stay motivated to press on toward our goals. Many of us have also experienced health problems or injuries that have created temporary roadblocks. Throughout these struggles, I have learned to adapt and stay focused on the things I care about and not dwell on the way things could have been. Instead, investing in my communities at church, seaside, volunteer opportunities, and sports teams. I plan to attend Wheaton College as a nursing major and go into the medical field. Thank you. Don't go anywhere, Louisa. <laughs> this is about Louisa. So. Uh, good morning. I'm Shannon Schmidt. I'm one of the teachers at Seaside Academy. And um, I've known Louisa in many different capacities over the years, maybe starting as her piano teacher when you were how old? <laughs> Five. <laughs> um, but at Seaside, um, I've had the privilege of being her biology teacher, her AP bio teacher, um, now her government teacher, and I've served as her advisor. Um, Louisa is the type of student every teacher wants in their class. She's a model student and sets a great example. For one, Louisa's very motivated. She knows what she wants to achieve and works diligently to attain it. 
She's talked about being a nurse for years, and I've seen her take steps toward that goal, adding critical science classes to her schedule and researching colleges with good nursing programs. She knew she'd need good grades to get into a competitive nursing program, and she worked hard for those. Uh, she successfully juggled rigorous classes at Seaside, the Great Books program, and the community college, excelling in all of them. Louisa also has integrity. I trust her to show up and put in her best effort. She comes to class prepared with good questions because she's already done the work, but she really wants to understand the material. She's always an active participant, diving right into experiments and leading her group, and she's quick to participate in class discussions and shows students what it looks like to come prepared. But I must say that the quality that stands out to me the most about Louisa the thing I really appreciate as a teacher is how welcoming she is. Louisa's great at building community. Seaside's a small school with small classes, and it stands out when a student is feeling uncomfortable or lost. When I see that, I know to connect the student with Louisa. She always has a ready smile and something funny or kind to say. I can count on her to include any student in her group and make the effort to really get to know them. Recently, I asked Louisa to make a video that tells eighth graders about our program at Seaside. Louisa did a great job explaining our unique program at Seaside, but I was especially touched at the end of the video when she wished the eighth graders luck and told them that high school may seem intimidating, but they were gonna, go, they were gonna have so much fun. It impressed me that she thought to encourage the students also. That's so Louisa. <laughs> Well, hi, um, I'm Lou's dad, Matt, and um, well done, Lou, and well done to all the exemplary and inspiring students who are represented here and their families and, and everything that goes into that. This is a, a whole kind of life that's represented by this moment thus far. So, and thank you to Mrs. Schmidt and Mr. Espinoza for considering Lou and selecting her for this honor. Um, we know she's really enjoyed her time at, at Seaside Academy, uh, as have her sisters. And while it's truly an honor to kind of receive um, recognition like this, what makes mom and I most uh, proud is, is the character of it in you that, that, um, that this award represents. And that, that's true for all of these students here, evidently, by, by the comments that everyone, their loved ones have made, and, and that's great. Um, you've never shied away from new things and new people and new experiences. Um, and this openness to what life brings you, I think, will, will serve you well in college and beyond. Um, this year is an important one in your life, and um, as you're heading into a new phase of independence and, and learning and growth, and our prayer is that you'll continue to see the importance of living life with gratitude and with humility and with curiosity and with the commitment to, to serve other people and be encouraging to them. And I think that's, you're well suited to, to pursue nursing uh, in that way, so we're, we're thankful for that, it's cool. Um, these, these kind of priorities will serve you well in, um, in all the seasons of your life. And so we pray that as you do pursue knowledge, uh, that you'll continue to also pursue what is true and what is good and what is beautiful, and that you'll recognize and value those things. So we're very proud of you, and uh, thanks to all of you for being here today. What I'd like to do at this time is take a moment and kind of share um, back some of the things that I heard, some things I heard you students say, things that were said about you, things that I just took away from things that were being said. Lisa, <clears throat> um, I, I really like what you said about the, the virtue and the value of flexibility when things don't go your way because that's life. I mean, we've all had it just pushed on us so hard through the COVID thing, but, but that happens ongoing, right? Um, even hopefully not in global pandemic scales, but still, you know, in little ways it happens all the time. And so I loved how you shared about that. Um, <clears throat> and your, your teacher said, she talked about your integrity and how you, you have that ethic, that work ethic, being prepared ahead of time. You know, you, you don't just show up to class and be like, you know, what are we doing today? But you're, you're already ahead of it. And um, that preparation is, is fantastic. I loved how she said how welcoming you are and helping build community. I mean, we, 
our society, our culture is desperate for more people like that. <clears throat> your dad, though, talks so much about your character and um, how you embrace things with gratitude and generosity, which again, as a, as a spouse of a nurse, it's gonna serve you so well in your nursing field as you care for others um, and as you work with them and, and bring all your gifts to them. <clears throat> Um, I loved how he said you've never shied away from new things and new people. Um, you know, that's just a fantastic quality that, again, we need more of uh, in this, in this uh, world, in this culture, in this society. Um, and your teacher talked to you about your motivation and how hard you worked. Obviously, you're going to need that in the medical field as you go forward. But but you've already embraced that. And so I, I just see you, uh, you know, as a very bright shining star. So thank you so much for being here.